Okay, so now we look at the types of nucleic acid. So remember, for nucleic acid, there are two types. The first one we call as DNA. Okay, DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Another one, RNA. So RNA is ribonucleic acid. So we look at DNA first. Okay, so the structure of DNA, okay, it is based on Watson and Crick model. So, uh, it will propose double helix model in 1953. So, means that Watson and Crick, it will propose the structure of DNA is double helix. Okay, so means that you have to know how to explain the structure of DNA. Okay, so first point. Okay, one DNA consists of two helical strand of polynucleotide. So, macam yang saya lukis dekat sini. Okay, the structure of DNA is helical. Helical means dia macam bentuk twisted. Kan? Okay. So, untuk structure of DNA, it consists of two helical strand of polynucleotide. Maksudnya, dia mesti kena ada double stranded of the polynucleotide. And then, the pentose sugar for DNA is deoxyribose. And then, nucleotide in each strand joined by phosphodiester bond. So, later, I will show you uh, what is phosphodiester bond. Okay, and then nitrogenous bases for DNA are adenine, thymine, cytosine and also guanine. Okay, next nitrogenous bases of each strand are paired in interior of helix. Okay, so this one later I will show you. Okay, the arrangement of the nitrogenous bases. And then helix shape maintained by hydrogen bond. Between nitrogenous bases of opposite strand. So, means that, okay, each strand of the DNA, okay, uh, it has a many nucleotide. Okay, so that's why we call that as polynucleotide. Okay, and then each of the nucleotide, it has nitrogenous bases. Okay, so how the nitrogenous bases of the first strand join to the nitrogenous bases to the other strand, it is by hydrogen bond. So that's why hydrogen bond will maintain the helix shape of the D. And A. Okay, and then the two strands must be complementary to each other. What is the what is the meaning of complementary? Complementary means dia mesti kena bersesuaian. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, adenine will pair with thymine with two hydrogen bond. And then guanine pair with cytosine with three hydrogen bond. So you have to remember adenine pair with thymine. Guanine pair with cytosine and then adenine pair with thymine with two hydrogen bond. Why guanine pair with cytosine with three hydrogen bond? Okay, so that's why for DNA amount of nitrogenous bases A is adenine. So the amount of adenine must be equal to thymine and the amount of guanine must be equal to cytosine. Uh, because of why it is based on their pairing. So, maksudnya bilangan dia kena sama banyak lah. Adenine sama banyak dengan thymine. Guanine sama banyak dengan cytosine. Okay, and then the two strand must run in opposite direction or we call as anti-parallel. Anti-parallel means one strand run from 5 prime to 3 prime. Why another strand run from 3 prime to 5 prime? Okay, so this one later I will show you the diagram. And then what is the function of DNA? It will act as hereditary genetic material. Okay? Okay, uh, so this is the structure of the DNA. So if you look at the structure of DNA here, so remember it consists of double-stranded polynucleotide. Okay, so if you look at this structure, okay, so this is the first strand of the polynucleotide. This is the second strand of the polynucleotide. Okay, so polynucleotide consists of condensation of many nucleotide. Okay, and then the blue color structure here, yang warna biru yang bulat-bulat ni. So, this one refers to the phosphate group. Okay, and then this is pentose sugar. And then the green color here represent the nitrogenous bases. So, kalau awak tengok dekat sini, okay, yang ada double ring macam ni. So, this one kita panggil sebagai purine nitrogenous base. Yang ada single ring kita panggil sebagai pyrimidine. Okay, so kalau kita ambil contoh di sini. 
Okay. Adenine is an example of purine. Ha. So, ni adalah adenine lah. So, it will join to the thymine. So, thymine is example of pyrimidine because of what? It has single ring. So, how adenine join to thymine? It is by hydrogen bond. But you have to be specific. Okay. Adenine pair with thymine with two hydrogen bond. Okay, kalau kita bezakan dengan yang dekat bawah sini. Okay, so this is refers to the cytosin and also guanine. Kenapa di sini cytosin? Kenapa yang ni adalah guanine? Sebab cytosin consists of single ring because of what it is a type of pyrimidine. Why guanine? It is double ring. So, double ring adalah purine. So, untuk uh, cytosin and also guanine, it is joined together by three hydrogen bond. Nah, three tu maksudnya one, two, three. Okay. Then the two backbones, okay, which consists of pentose sugar and phosphate group. Ah, so this is the sugar phosphate backbone. This is also the sugar phosphate backbone. So sugar phosphate backbone or the backbone of the DNA is consists of pentose and also pentose and also the phosphate group. Okay, allocated outside. Okay, why the organic base or nitrogenous base are packed inside of the helix. So, bahagian luar apa yang awak kena ingat terdiri daripada sugar phosphate backbone. Okay, manakala untuk bahagian dalam structure helix ni, dia adalah terdiri daripada nitrogenous bases. So, kalau kita tengok based on this structure, so yang dekat tengah-tengah sini, so yang ni semuanya kita refer kepada a pairing of the nitrogenous bases. Okay. And then, okay, so another one you have to know for structure of the DNA, the two strand must run in opposite direction or we call as anti-parallel. So what is the meaning of anti-parallel? Okay, awak fokuskan kepada the first strand first. Okay, so awak tengok pada phosphate. Okay, so phosphate, it will attach to the fifth carbon of the pentose sugar. Ah, This one, they attach kepada fifth carbon. Okay, okay, lepas tu phosphate yang kedua ni, they akan attach kepada third carbon of this pentose sugar. So, benda ni akan keep repeated. So, di bawah sekali ni, okay, ha, so this is the hydroxyl or OH that is located at the third carbon of the pentose sugar. So, that's why cara kita nak tulis 5 prime. 5 prime tu kita refer kepada 5 carbon lah, phosphate attached kepada 5 carbon dia. And this one is referred to the the third prime, okay, referred to the this one. Ha, yang ni sebab dia attach kepada carbon nombor 3. Ha, so, ni akan jadi 5N to 3N. Okay, so kalau kita compare, kenapa kita kata structure of DNA is anti-parallel? Dia tak boleh dekat sini 5, dekat sini pun 5. Ha, dia mesti kena in opposite direction. So, means that kalau dekat sini 5 prime, strand yang kedua dia akan jadi 3 prime. Ha, so, dekat bawah ni akan jadi 5 prime. So, that's why kalau awak tengok dari segi diagram, ha, dekat sini P dia akan jadi terbalik. Ha, so, that's why yang ni yang kita panggil sebagai anti-parallel. Ha, kalau paralel dia selari. Selari maksudnya sini 5, yang ni pun akan jadi 5. Tapi since structure of DNA is anti-parallel, so dia akan jadi berlah one nine. Okay, so that's why one strand will run 5, 2, 3. Ha, this one 5, 2, 3. Okay, why the other strand will run from 3 to 5. Ha, so this is what we call as anti-parallel structure of DNA. Okay.